It is currently 3.42 in the afternoon and I'm about to make coffee because why not? Why not when you're on summer break? Why not make a coffee at 3.42 p.m., right? Why have it in the morning when you can just have it in the afternoon because you don't have a bedtime, right? That's how I am feeling right now. I don't have a bedtime. I don't have a wake up time. I do have a wake up time though, but I, I take a nap like an hour after I wake up because I'm still tired. But anyways, I am going to be making coffee. I am not usually a coffee type of person, but because I got a foamer, I am now a coffee person. Today's coffee is different from your typical coffee. Today's coffee is Javi's Microdose Coffee Concentrate. Now, I'm not a coffee person, so I don't really know what to compare it to. I'm not going to be like, oh, this tastes so blah. I don't know how people describe coffee, so I don't know how to describe coffee. I don't know what to expect from coffee aside from it's drinkable. tastes just like a Starbucks caramel cold brew which is something that I get all the time so if you guys are interested in Javi's microdose coffee concentrate I will leave their link in the description and you should definitely go check them out oh <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what does it come with? What is this? Oh, it comes with a cleaning thing. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Nesting steamer basket for dumplings, veggies, and more. Wow. So there's a little like thing. What does it say? The always pen is is designed to help you do more with less. So get ready to steam, saute, braise, fry, stew, boil, sear, serve, store, and more. Ooh. Ooh, that's so nice. Is it heavy? No, it's pretty light. Nice. Can I hold it? Oh, that's really light. That's nice. It's really light. Nice. And then, get a little spoon. We got the spoon. Our spatula. Our spatula spoon. Nice in here. If I can open it with one hand. Okay, I got you. So 
just pull me. <laughs> pull me. <laughs> oh, nice. So Renee and I just got home and today's project is going to be our Okay. As I was saying, I wasn't saying anything. Let's try this again. So Renee and I just got home and today's project is really I swear I won't be able to tell you what our project is today. So Renee and I just got home and today's project is going to be the balcony. So that vacuuming was actually Renee vacuuming our balcony. We're cleaning it up a little bit before we put down some tiles and get some balcony furniture and furniture, furniture and furnish it. So stay tuned. This is really just from construction because this is a newly built condo, but look at all the dirt. Look at how clean it actually is. Or this is how it's supposed to be, but it looks like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what construction did. <laughs> we should just get a mop, babe. We should just get a mop. So that was, I would say, pretty rough. Um, we didn't end up finishing cleaning like the balcony floor. We really thought we could be Cinderella and just like wipe it with a microfiber cloth and just throw it out, but that didn't really work out. Um, so I think tomorrow we are going to go to Walmart, pick up a mop so then we can mop up that nasty ass balcony floor of ours. And this is what it looks like right now. I'll just open the door. This is what our balcony is looking like right now. It looks really, really sad, but you can clearly see the difference between like all the dust from construction and from what we tried to clean. It's a pretty big difference. currently has done I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna fit a few of the squares like over here apparently we've got some math to do which I'm not really that good at it's roasted <laughs> get your body pieces off my balcony all right so right now we're kind of just laying out the last few tiles that we bought like a few days ago so right over here this thing is just right behind so we're gonna have to like cut through like these two tiles and then also over here as well hopefully it all turns out well we don't mess up today is a very exciting day we finally got our kitchen island after a month more than a month of living here so we actually had one before the one that we have right now but that one had a crack in it so we did have to return it and i'm really excited to finally have a kitchen island and to eat at the kitchen island versus in the living room on the coffee table and make a mess there and just have more storage in the kitchen and Renee's looking at me with his hands crossed and I think he's trying to tell me that it's time to start building. Not that I'm gonna build, I'm just gonna supervise, but he's gonna start building. No, I was just looking at you because you're so cute. Oh, uh, stop it, stop.
So this is what our countertops look like. We purposely didn't want a kitchen island that matched our countertops because I thought they were kind of ugly and just knowing we wouldn't be here forever, we didn't want to spend that much on a kitchen island. We like that our kitchen island really brightens up our place since a lot of our furniture is on the darker side. On one side it has two shelves and we store things that either didn't fit in our cupboards and things that we use on a daily basis. We didn't find white bar stools that we really liked, so we thought it would be fun to go with these stools, which kind of worked out because they match our kitchen counters. And here we have my $100 Amazon garbage bin that I love. Here is our balcony. This is our little patio set. This actually wasn't the patio set that we were planning on getting originally, but everything at Ikea was out of stock and we ended up buying this set from Home Depot and I'm so happy that we did because I think it looks so much better and it's much comfier and I am just in love with the chairs I don't know what material this is but it is just so aesthetically pleasing and it's much lighter than like everything that we have on our balcony because as you can see everything is dark the table is dark the walls are dark and also our tiles are dark so it really just brightens up our balcony I also have a snake plant over here and sadly ikea had gone out of stock with the tiles that we have and so we weren't able to finish it and as you can see we did shave around it and we outlined this thing which i'm not a fan of this whatever this is i wish it was just the pole because this really just messes up the whole vibe but we still have to buy some borders just so we can cover up the connectors that it has on the edges and we also have a plug out here so for whatever reason we want to play music or whatever we would plug in i don't know lights or whatever we can we always have that so we're not completely done our balcony yet as you can tell this is just what we have done right now we don't know what exactly we want to do with our balcony what lights we want to put out here and how we actually want to decorate it and stuff so eventually that will come along hopefully before summer ends so we can enjoy it so if you guys have any ideas on what we should do with our balcony definitely let us know in the comments because we are kind of stuck we don't know what to do